D-102-633-27 before 7 o'clock. Time to check sports. 60-year-old Don Zimmer says he will be back in uniform next year, but it won't be with the Chicago Cubs, who fired him yesterday in New York. Zimmer led the Cubs to the National League East title just two years ago, but the team is now tied for last place in the division. The Cubs fell 8-6 to to the Mets in New York at Shea last night. Interim manager Joe Altabelli didn't even last until the end of his first game as uh, Zimmer's replacement, Altabelli, was ejected in the fifth inning. Might be interesting uh, to hear from some Cubs fans this morning about how they feel about uh, Don Zimmer being fired. Oh, yeah. Of course, the Cardinal fans would probably love to call up and rub it in. But Sure we would. But you know what? You know, like I said, you know who my prediction is, and like I said, it's not a very founded one or educational one, but Whitey Herzog going to the Cubs. Oh, I would vomit. Would just absolutely cause an uproar. Oh, with I would vomit. Anyway. Okay. Cubs or Cards fans, if you feel like giving an opinion this morning on, uh, on Don Zimmer's firing, feel free to call in. Barry Bonds hit his first home runs of the year at Three River Stadium and leading the Pittsburgh Pirates over my St. Louis Cardinals 5-3 to three yesterday. White Sox relief ace Bobby Thigpen had a 2-1 to one lead in the eighth inning but blew a save opportunity. He gave up a three-run, two-out homer to Dave Parker to lift the Angels to a 4-2 victory in Anaheim, California last night. The National League today, the Cardinals in Pittsburgh, Bob Tewksbury against Doug Drabeck, the Cubs in New York again, Greg Maddox versus Frank Viola, the White Sox in California, Charlie Huff against Scott Lewis. Michael and the Jordanaires put the Pistons down two zip last night with a 105-97 victory at Chicago Stadium. Jordan scored 35, while the Bulls' defense held Detroit to only 61 points through the first three periods. The Portland Trailblazers crashed the boards and beat my Los Angeles Lakers 109-98 to last night to deadlock their NBA semifinal series at one game apiece. Terry Porter's 26 points and 21 from Clyde Drexler helped the Blazers. On the ice, the Penguins skated past Minnesota 5-3 to three and tied up that series at two apiece. And the Indianapolis Motor Speedway remains shut until Carburation Day Thursday when drivers and teams get a final chance to test their cars for Sunday's 500-mile race. Cloudy, hazy, warm, and humid today. 40% chance of thunderstorms up to 82. Much of the same for tonight. Warm, humid, 30% chance of showers with a low 70. And a chance of thunderstorms again tomorrow back to 82. Right now we're at 72 in the Danville, Champaign-Urbana area. 635, Big R's Breakfast Breaks coming up next. It'll wake you, shake you. Take you North to Gilbert Street in Danville, you know, Reflections for Hair and Sun, the premier place to tan. It's Big R's Breakfast Break, a set from one of the greats of rock and roll. Brought to you by Big R. For almost Big anything. R's D-102 at 6.46 of the Flakes. Just rolling out of the sack. It's the same old story. Hazy and a good chance of storms today up to 82. And warm and humid. Chance of showers tonight. Low 70. Maybe some storms again tomorrow. And right now, 72 in the Danville, Champaign-Urbana area. I don't know when to go out. D-102, 651, nine minutes in front of 7 o'clock with the Breakfast Flakes. Good morning. Climbing over the hump on a Wednesday. Bill Pickett's check of the news is round the corner. Uh, what do you think here, Carrie? Am I, is it time for a haircut for me or not? It's getting a Am little I long need there. To go back yeah, for a you haircut? do need a trim. Well, the place I need to go, obviously, although it's a bit of a ride, I, I guess, is Australia. Oh, yeah, why? Because apparently there at a hairdressing salon a little off the top could mean something totally different. The women barbers there are topless. Oh, Russ. At Fiona's Men's World Hair Design in the Adelaide area. Yeah, Apparently they Adelaide. decided to take it off as a way to cover costs. Uh-huh. <laughs> And uh, make more profit. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Think of the tips they get. <laughs> Excuse me, the what? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> tips. Oh, okay. They get. <laughs> Apparently, it's working. A salon spokesman says business is booming. I'm sure. It is. <laughs> Jeez. Also says the salon has a strict hands-off rule. Any uh-huh. patron with other ideas might remember that these folks are working on his head and carrying sharp <laughs> objects. <laughs> gosh. You know, I was wondering. Oh, gosh. You've been kind of letting your hair grow a little bit, haven't you? <laughs> Just kind of like, like, you know, you Think can I'm only Think I'm saving up here? Yeah, is that I what do, the deal is? Fact. No, that's not it. Oh, you, now, do you love get, it. Do you get your hair cut by a guy? No, actually by a woman. Oh, because see, this could work for you if you had your hair cut by a by guy. By a guy, yeah. What's he going to... You could lobby for this. Go shirtless? Well, sure. I guess. You could go for that. Well, whatever. For equal rights, I suppose. Or I guess you could make him... No, nah, never mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, if you need a really good haircut, I guess Australia's the place to go. 6.53, and more of the best music's on the way. Sheena Easton is up next. Are you a woman? 
There are so many separatist and extremist there groups in India. in India today. Good morning, I'm Joe Connolly on the Unistar Radio Network. The Epicureans are here. Join the Epicureans and show your taste. Proud of some accomplishments. Good morning, I'm Bill Pickett with WDNL News. This Medical report? Center in Danville. I'm Bill Pickett, D102 News. There's a new medical D102 Weather Center. This is meteorologist Gary Best. Let's get together and do what comes naturally. The current temp is 72 at D102. Warm already, a couple of minutes after 7 o'clock with the breakfast flakes on your hot morning. Good morning. Do you want to do it? It's the gal, <coughs> excuse me, it's the gal with the Peter Jennings fetish, uh, Sheena Easton. Uh, 706 to D102, WDNL, Danville, Champaign, Urbana. And time for. Cheap thrills and big deals trivia. Up for grabs today, we have got a riff cassette with My Heart Is failing me on it. Video Service Center has uh, a video rental for you. Plus, we've got a Discover Scuba class for you, which is worth $25. And away we go. Cheap thrill. I know this happens quite often when you're in the restaurant, Miss Carrie. Yes. You are troubled in public by slow-moving ketchup. Yeah. What should you do? What should you do? A, ask the waitress for a squeeze bottle. Hmm. B, whop the bottle with your fist. Or C... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Push a straw to the bottom of the bottle and then remove it. Admitting enough air to start an even flow. Okay, can I tell you what I do? Well, you may. I just stick a straw in it and drink it. No, you know what I do? Yeah, really? No, no, I stick a knife in it. And that's not one of our things. No, it's not. You Would ever, you like you to add that? that? Yeah, stick a knife in it. And then, you know, so it kind of gets this off do damage the sides to the bottle? of it. No, no, no. You, you puncture you the bottle? <gasps> A glass bottle. You can't oh, puncture a glass bottle. So you just stick the knife in it and it goes, whoop, and then it comes well, out. Well, now anybody can call in and say they do that and you'll let them have sure it. Sure I will. Well, anyway, anyway. ask the waitress for a squeeze bottle. Whop the bottle with your fist. Push a straw to the bottom of the bottle and then remove it, admitting enough air to start an even flow or whatever she said. <laughs> Big deal question. Name the lyricist. Did I say that right? You most certainly did. It's a strange did. word to say. Who wrote a number of Elton John hits. Sort of Elton John's writing partner, he's known as. That's right. The lyricist, writing partner, whatever, who wrote a number of Elton John hits. That's the questions. If you know the answers, give us a call on the studio line, 442-D102, 442-1700. Good way to kick off your hump day with a cheap thrill, maybe even a big deal. Back utility tractors for you. D-102, Luther Vandross, love power, which, if I'm not mistaken, is more economical than gas or electricity. Think about that. Good point. 7, 18, 18 past 7 of the flakes. Time for the honor roll. Okay, let's do it. Handing out some cheap thrills this morning to Corey Finnessy and Mrs. Davis is third grade at St. Paul. Also, Mindy Jenkins and Mom, John and Mark Redman, Mom and Mandy and Dad McIntyre would like to say happy birthday to Eric, who is 11 today. Also, Ty Phillips and Mrs. Swank's third grade at Douglas. Joe Bernardi, now duplexers today, Geraldo Suave Jackson, Megan and Nick Lavery, John Ban, Scott and Scotty, and Drew Doherty, Nathan Drobeck, who says that it's stupid that they fired Don Zimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, who cares? Um, Tiffany Clay and Mrs. Freeman's fifth grade at Diamond. Big deal winner for today is Ashley Nolan of Danville. Way to go, Ashley. Cheap thrill, you are often troubled in public by slow-moving ketchup. What should you do? Ask the waitress for a squeeze bottle, whop the bottle with your fist, push a straw to the bottom of the bottle, and then remove it, admitting enough air to start an even flow. Or you say use a knife. Stick a knife down it. Well, the, either one of those are fine. Okay. Uh, the, the correct answer here is you're supposed to push the straw to the bottom of the bottle and admit enough air to start an even flow. Squeeze bottles, they say, are too messy because you might miss your meatloaf. We all know how painful that can be. Yeah. And squirt the folks in the next booth. And then you get Starting the same, a melee. Same thing if you do the, the 
But yeah, if you whop it, yeah, whop yeah, it, it could all go... come plop it out right across the uh, table onto your, uh, yeah. your dinner guest. Be kind of embarrassing or not it could good be kind for of nice. A, not good for a first date. No, I, well, I, I guess, okay, yeah, maybe it could be nice for a <laughs> first date. On the other date. hand, sure. <laughs> Okay, the big deal question. Name the lyricist who wrote a number of Elton John hits. It's Bernie Toppin. Bernie. Who is 41 today. Bernie's having a birthday. Well, happy birthday to Bernie. Yep. 720, 20 past 7. Bill Pickett's check of the news is up next. He never lip syncs. He does it all himself. And he...